Hello there, I just wanted to demonstrate this new tool I've been working on. It's taken me about a day and a half, perhaps two days. Um, but it just basically wraps around the uh, Acme PHP tool, um, which is this thing, which itself wraps around the Acme protocol, which is the automatic certificate management environment. Um, long story short, we can make, generate SSL certificates um, through the CLI re relatively easily and quickly. Um, saves me a lot of effort, so I'm just going to demonstrate it real, real quick. Alright, so um, I'm in an empty folder here, right? and I have gone to the effort of already doing this step of creating a, a list, so I'm going to do a cell generator. Without any, you can specify the domain here, but uh, easier just to do this and fill it in when it asks you. So I'm going to put okidoki.art-dev.org, right? So I'm going to pretend I have a website there. Um, I don't right now. That's the beauty of this tool. You can create SSL certificates uh, for websites that aren't even up yet or aren't publicly available. So it's gone and posted a TXT record for um, okidoki.art-dev.org with the a text value that was provided to me from the uh, from Let's Encrypt, you know, with the Acme protocol or whatever. Um, right now, I'm just waiting for the DNS propagation, which has just been finished. Obviously, right now we only support Route 53, AWS Route 53, which is quite fast. But if you're using some other provider, you can just add a driver by implementing this this interface. Relatively simple. So DigitalOcean, GoDaddy, whatever. Um, so this was the first time that I'm registering or trying to get an SSL certificate for okidoki.irp-dev.org, so it's going to ask me a bunch of questions. If you just answer those questions truthfully, they will appear in your certificate. Um, and uh, so Be careful, because you only get asked these questions once. When you renew certificates, you um, it, you don't have to go through this effort. Obviously, you can track down the configuration file that got used and edit that later. I think that works. Um, but it's easier just to make sure you answer the questions right the first time. All right, so that's that's gone and done. Um, there's all the output just in case there was anything you need, but you don't need to read it, which is always nice. People never read. Um, you'll see that there's okie dokie folder in here now, right? So I'm going to open that in my file browser. Um, the reason I do that is because I, I will want to register a lot of SSL certificates at the same time, maybe even have a lot of terminals open running them in parallel. So I just want the files to be separated. This will create the folders for whatever web server you're running. Apache and Nginx are the two most common ones. With Apache it gives you the files all separated, so you know your certificate authority file, your site certificate and your private key. And then Nginx obviously has a bundled file with, with the certificate authority and the site certificates together. And then there's your private key. So that makes my life a lot easier. Hopefully it'll make someone else's life a lot easier too. And I'd be super pleased if people started um, writing drivers. I might even separate this out into different packages so you can just do a composer require, you know, DigitalOcean driver, whatever. Um, yeah, enjoy. Um, see you later.